I still feel very sorry for the families. I mean, mm -hmm. these, these medical students, their families yeah. are now on the border in Turkey yeah. somewhere, yes. trying to find them, hoping yeah. to bring them home. Should they be allowed back? Well, I, I'm one of those people that thinks that actually this situation and this problem is, is so nuanced and we can't just have one solution. You know, when you look at places like Denmark, Denmark almost have as many fighters in Syria as we do. And they've implemented programs that are much more rehabilitative, re rehabilitative and work with the families. So what they do is they go into the local communities and they really try and turn them around. And I think we need something like that. If what, the, after they've come, so to let them back? Yes, you do. With no consequence to well, the fact no, 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 that they've no, no, been no, no. I'm not saying no consequences. I mean, those that are fighting, that's a whole different ball game. But with children like this, I think there's a grey area where we need to intervene much earlier. You know, I grew up in East London, and some of the kids in my school became somewhat radicalised, and our teachers had no idea how to tackle it. But should the elders in their communities be intervening before but it gets to this, is, though, before it, our, the government are then the forced to make the, a decision. The elders are intervening, the kids aren't listening. Mm. So we need to support the elders. But maybe the they're elders. not intervening the loudly enough But then. I think aren't you need to are, go back but to not... the word communities, because if you live in this country, yes. we keep talking about disparate communities, yeah. about communities where people predominate of one faith yes. or one ethnic background, and that and exclude is, themselves. And exclude themselves. Mm. And and become too inward looking. Mm. Now, if I go back, you know, half a century, I went to a church school, a mm. faith school. I didn't know any Catholics or any Jewish people, and that was in inner London. Mm. And somehow the situation has got more, uh, much worse in mm. our big cities where faith schools predominate mm. in certain areas. And even if they don't, mm. there are other schools which are not sold as faith schools or yeah. not build as faith schools but one faith predominates by to the you know 95 percent so else. what i i'm wondering now is whether it would be better to bus children out of their area or take them out of their area and educate them in a mix because it can't be good because you when you talk about dealing with radicalization mm. it's too late by the time they're 19 you've got to start at six seven eight but there showing are children signs. that there's different cultures oh i agree well i personally actually i am all for mixing so on that point i completely agree with you janet but i do think that there are warning signs and we're not doing a good enough job of intervening earlier and looking at other solutions but i also I, you know for me i also think i know what you're saying mm. um but i also think you know we are predominantly and known as a Christian country. And I think it's really sad that you're now saying, well, I don't think anyone should be allowed to, you know, mm. be in a faith school. You know, not every single person that goes to their own faith school mm. becomes oh, some kind not. of, yeah, of uh, not, yeah. you know, becomes well, radicalised. And, 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 so yeah. exactly. yeah. and so it's kind of like, you know, for the minority now, what the majority all is going to have to change their culture and their way of life. And I don't agree with that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and I see there'll be a lot of parents that, that actively want their children to go to a faith school because they believe very strongly yeah. in their faith. And discipline and so, so that's a tricky one, isn't it, to say, well, we're not going to let you, you yes, know, but if I you're do Jewish or you're Yes, yeah, but I do or... think faith schools uh, emphasise a closed community. Well, except and when Kira, Kira went to a primary school that was mm. a Catholic yeah. school, mm. and she had to study all different faiths. They had to go to synagogue, they had to go mm. to... Um, but uh, you know, they not, had to discover the, the, the norm, mosque, though. they had to go to the mosque. But actually, the Muslim kids in her class didn't have to go to the... They were allowed the day off well, when they visited ridiculous. That the, is um, plainly but ridiculous. But Kira wasn't allowed a day off. Because I said, so if I didn't want Kira to visit a mosque, no, she has to, that's part of the curriculum. And I said, but the Muslim kids don't have to come into her church. They said, no, because it's against their religion. That's but where it's wrong in this country. 